you're a fellow crocheter, go get whatever project you're working on and let's hang out and talk about yarn and plushies and all the fun things we've made. Hello and welcome back to Crafts Go Bloom. If you're new here, I'm glad to see you. My name is Krista and today we're going to be talking about everything that I crocheted in the month of September. I keep a list on my phone and I keep track of everything that I've made throughout the month. And then next to it, I write how many items I've made total. So if I make one frog on Monday, I write that down and write the number one. And then I make another frog on Tuesday, I put the number two next to it, even though I only made one. So I've got a running total. And this has been my biggest month yet for the number of items I've made. And I've made 156 things. We are in the middle of our market season and we've sold out of a lot. A lot of what I've made is multiples of the same item this month. That's been a big theme the last couple of months as we continue to do markets and different items completely sell out or like a certain color of something sells out. Also, I did make a lot of smaller items this month. I made a lot of mini octos. I'll insert a clip here of some items that I made at the beginning of the month, but actually took to my craft show that weekend. And so some of those have already sold and they won't be in what I'm about to show. I'm also never going in exact order because if I made one frog on the first of the month and then I made five frogs on the fifth, of the month. I'm just going to show you all six at one time. I had too many patterns to show you today, so instead of linking each one in the bottom, I'm going to link a Google Doc, and if you click on that, it'll have links to the patterns I show you today in the order that I mentioned them in this video. As I'm filming, it's September 28th, and so I'm going to insert a clip here of items that I made on the 29th and the 30th. The reason I'm having to film this a few days before the end of the month is because I have a craft show on the 30th and the 1st. So whatever I get made on the 29th and 30th, I will show you now. And let's get to what is in this huge basket right next to me. So first up, I have this frog pattern. And this is a pattern by Katie Being Creative. She's also here on YouTube. This pattern is from her Etsy shop and it takes me about 30 minutes. I love when a pattern is no sew and only takes me less than an hour. Any of these 30 minute no sew projects I'm going to show you today are great sellers. Because I can make these items in about half an hour, I'm able to price them at the perfect point for my customers so that they are constantly selling out, but I feel like I'm getting a fair price for the time that I've put into them. And I know this isn't a market vlog, but any of these items that fall in that are that fall under that category, I charge $12 for them. This month I decided to make a grumpy one of these. This one, this lighter green, and this darker green are made out of Bernat Blanket. And this is a Joanne Big Twist Plush yarn. And I highly recommend this. This is kind of a newer yarn. If you haven't checked it out, I really like it. Up next, I have Triceratops. And let me count. I'm not sure how many of these I have. I have 13 of these. And they are all made out of Bernat Blanket. Yes, they all are. And I've got kind of a rainbow of colors here. I usually try to make two in every color because they they seem to sell for me no matter which color I make them in. I have other products that I need to make in certain colors, and this one seems to be perfectly fine. I've done variegated yarns in the past, and those sell, um, but solid colors sell the best for me. And then this one I only made one of because I just ran out of that yarn. Up next, I have my dog pattern, and I have nine of these. I have nine of these dogs and these are all made in Bernat Blanket yarns in different speckled colors. This one is my favorite and it's a like a harsh black and white. And then this one's very similar and it's in a gray and white. And some of these I tied the ears down and some of them I didn't. You can do either one and I've done both and my customers seem to like both so I just go ahead and do a variety. And then this is out of Bernat Baby Blanket Frosting. This is a new uh, newer frosting yarn. So this is my pattern you can find on my Etsy shop and it's another one that only takes me about 30 minutes. Up next I have a couple of patterns that I haven't released yet. I've just sort of teased them on Instagram. I post over there a lot if you're interested in following me there's a link below. And so this is my panther and this video will be coming out in the next couple of weeks. And I would prefer to make it in this black with the gold sparkly eyes. And then he has a long tail. Um, but when I was making the video, I chose to use gray yarn because it shows up better on camera. 
and so you can see those stitches in that gray yarn a lot better when I'm doing a tutorial the the black just won't work a true black and a true white just don't show up on camera well enough to teach someone how to do it who doesn't know how to do it yet so I also have a gray panther now the same thing applies for this next item which I actually haven't shown anywhere at all so this is going to be a sneak peek of what's to come and Instagram doesn't know about this so go tell them that they should uh, come over here and watch these YouTube videos but I made a bat pattern and this is no sew you you sew over the wings just like the dog that I showed you that's also a no sew pattern and you sew over the ears on the dog so I made a tutorial video that will be coming out soon just like the panther but same thing I didn't want to use the black yarn that you can't see so I made a gray version as well and I use Bernat blanket yarn so with the, the blanket yarn the the wings sort of curve in sometimes you can kind of get them to stick out straight um, sometimes they cover his face <laughs> and you can also kind of like fold them and get them to stick a little bit if you want them like folded so you can kind of play with that yarn and you could even tie it down if you wanted to in a specific spot I think the gray one turned out okay but definitely the the black one with the purple eyes is my favorite I'm pretty excited about this new pattern up next I have an item that is not necessarily new I've shown it on here before but the pattern is new in my Etsy shop and so this is my no sew turkey I was making another one so that I could take specific pictures of it to post in the pattern so that it would make a little more sense but you make all of these feathers separately and then you're just crocheting over them so as you're going along you're just adding them and going right over top and you just tie the waddle on and the feet on so there's no actual sewing and the beak is just a color change it takes me a little under an hour so it's a little bit longer than a 30 minute project uh, for something that comes out this cute though I don't mind and I love that I'm able to get this much color in here in this much dimension without having to sew pieces on and this is made all out of Bernat blanket yarn and it's live in my Etsy shop if you're interested in it I think now is the perfect time to get started on turkeys one of the smaller items I made this month is this keychain whale this is a pattern test for Maddie's plushie co she's here on YouTube she goes live every now and then she talks all about yarn highly suggest that you go give her a follow uh, last I checked she is getting near that 1000 subscriber mark so guys go show her some love and hit subscribe and if you like watching my videos you'll love watching her videos too and let's get her over that thousand mark so I'll leave a link to her channel and this pattern below and this took me 10 minutes maybe um, fast enough that I can't remember exactly how long it took and it's just a little whale pattern but I thought it would be perfect to stick a keychain on so my daughter sticks these on for me and this will be perfect to add to my keychains at my next market speaking of keychains I am giving you guys all the spoilers this is another pattern that I have not released yet and I um, I think it might be my favorite pattern that I've made so far or at least right now it's the one that I'm the most excited about so this is an item I did not make this month this is one I made months ago but this is my original cat pattern uh, my plain gray cat I have since gone on to make it in a ton of other colors I talk about in a lot of my other videos it turns out the size takes me about half an hour I love it highly recommend it. it sells really well for me however I decided to make tiny cats I love the colors that I chose for this I love how tiny it comes out with this cute little tail and so for a comparison you can see them together and I just think that they look so adorable also this gray cat was before I started always putting the whiskers on and um, so usually I, I just don't have an example in here right now but I have a bunch of colorful cats with colorful whiskers that look very similar to this that I sell at my market so after I made this one which is going to end up on my shelf as my example cat because I love it so much I made another one in pink with teal features and a purple one with pink and turned those into keychains and I think these are going to be the perfect $10 keychain so I made two of those I made one of this pop mushroom and I love this it's a great seller for me I'm just running out of time and I need to prioritize these because I always sell out but I added some uh, baby rattles I ordered off of Amazon to the top of it 
So I'm not sure how well you can hear that, but whenever you pop it, the rattle is up in the top. So that pops with it and makes noise. You can hear it really well in person. And if it's awful on camera and you're tired of the rattling, I'm sorry. Up next, I have 12 of the Mushy Boy pattern. And to be honest, as I was counting this, I thought that I had 15 or more. And I'm a little disappointed to see that I only have 12 because I usually sell out of 10 to 12 of them at every market. So I thought that I had prepped for a few markets, but I don't expect this to stick around very long. In other words, very good seller. Highly recommend these if you're also selling at markets. And these take me about 45 minutes to make. And I made all of these out of Bernat Blanket. I love this pattern. I feel like in this video, I am just sharing all of my secrets that no one knows about yet. Here is another surprise pattern that no one on Instagram knows about yet. I have these little handheld flowers and it's like a two-in-one pattern that I'm going to be releasing soon. So this one can be made in more of a daisy look and then these petals are pointed to look more like a sunflower on purpose. And for this one I gave it a face. The light suddenly just got a lot brighter. I don't know why. Sorry if it looks weird. For the pink and yellow one I gave that a face and so that's an option. For the sunflower I decided to just keep it a flower. And for this pink and yellow one, I just went ahead and did entirely pink on the back. And a lot of them, that's usually what I've, I've made, is one color on the front and the other color is the petals and the back because I wanted it to look like you were holding a flower. But for the sunflower, I decided to make it look green on the back. And, well, I didn't decide to make it look green. It is green. It really is green on the back. But not real green yarn. That's cruel. So this is an upcoming pattern that's going to be in my Etsy shop very soon as a two-in-one pattern. And these are also going to end up on my shelf as my, my keeper patterns. I really love to keep my first pattern of something and um, have it around as an example. And also like the cat that I showed you earlier, you can see how much it's changed over time. And so I like to see that growth and what the original idea was and then what it turns into as a good market seller. I got on a little flower kick and I made 14 of these for my market. These two I made in uh, variegated yarns. But then I tried to just make a rainbow. I have never had these at a market before. And so I'm curious to see how they sell and I want to know if certain colors sell more than other colors. So I have some fall options, some really like more neon, really this is Bernat Blanket Bright, some bright options for more of a like 60s, 70s look. I tried some with a variegated center and some that are just two-tone. So I'm excited to see how the 14 of these do. And they're all made with Bernat Blanket yarns. Speaking of flowers, I made another little pattern. Now this one is a smaller pattern. I'll definitely have a video tutorial for this. It takes me about six minutes to make this, so I'm not even sure that I will need to like speed up part of the video. We're probably just going to make this and chat for six or eight minutes. I ended up making a ton of these. I'll show you in a second. And they are, I think, perfect keychain size. So I have 20 of these in total. It kind of looks like I have some fall colors, but I'm actually going to a market coming up at a school where the colors are black and orange, so I wanted to make a bunch of black and orange options of things that wouldn't be so specific that I couldn't sell them elsewhere. And so I figure I'm probably going to stick these out too and uh, see what happens because they just look like fall flowers. And they're all made in Bernat Blanket, except for this little one that I made in Bernat Velvet. I just wanted to see the size comparison. So I have a ton of different color options and we'll see how those do. Like I mentioned earlier, my daughter is who puts the keychains on and then she also crochets some items. And so she's been making these little bee keychains and she's using the pattern from Crochet Grove over on Instagram. And we have a good, we have good luck selling things that have angry faces on them. So she made this little bee that has these angry eyebrows, and I'm excited to see how that one sells. She also made one of her bee pattern. She also made one of her bee pattern, and these items that she's crocheting aren't in my total, but they're in my stuff that has been made this month, so I like to mention those too. This is her bee pattern. We just need to do some finalizing, and then this will be in our Etsy shop. She made this pumpkin pie-themed bee, and I think that that's going to be a great fall addition. All of that's in Bernat Blanket yarn as well. Up next, I have another item that sells really well for me, 
and this is the Octo Pattern by Katie Being Creative. It comes in a pattern pack on Etsy with the frog that I showed you at the beginning and a whale. And I've made a ton of the whale also. And these Octos are great sellers for me. I usually sell six or eight per craft show. My customers like to buy these in a variety of colors, so I have a bunch of different options. These are all Bernat Blanket yarns. This one, I'm not sure if it's going to show up, but this is a Bernat Blanket Sparkle yarn, and so I really like that one. And I'm using some of the Bernat Blanket Frostings for the first time in Octos. I've used other variegated colors in the past, though. I think this one is my favorite. This is a Bernat Blanket Brights. Color. So a little off topic, but I have three kids and whenever I have yarn coupons uh, or Joanne coupons, I like to just send them in Joanne and let them choose the color of yarn. So I end up with a lot of these random variegated colors. So that was what one of these was. And I think it turned out to be some pretty cool octos. And these have been good sellers for me, even in these, these kind of random yarns. And so one time they went in the store and one kid picked out this blue and purple variegated, one picked out the blue and white, and the other one picked out orange. So I was like, great, whatever you bring me home, I'm going to make an Octos. They were um, they were out with my husband, they weren't at the store alone, don't worry. Same thing down here though, I have like a camouflage one that I've made in the past, and that was another yarn that they picked out one time. And this is a like a test that my daughter suggested, she said let's try to make one in white and see how that does, and I think it looks kind of um, kind of realistic, kind of creepy, kind of looks like an eel or something you would actually see underwater. And I have 13 of those. <laughs> this is my final item. I have jumped on the bandwagon. If you are a crocheter and you haven't heard about this pattern, I, I don't know where you've been, but everyone I know is talking about this. It's Mabel the Chicken by Oak and Marlow. It will be linked below. And it's addicting. I have 24 of them to prove how addicting it is. They take me around a half an hour to make. They look cute in so many different colors. And they're, they're so simple. The comb is supposed to be sewn on, but I hate doing the sewing. So I just sort of figured out how to crochet it on and change it a little bit. So if mine look a little bit crooked compared to the pattern, that's why. But these are in the Bernat Blanket Tweed. These are a couple more of the Bernat Blanket Tweeds. Here are some in Bernat Blanket Speckle Yarns. Do those little stuffing fuzzies drive anyone else crazy? And then when I'm under the, the bright lights, when I'm filming, I see them everywhere. And it reminds me that I need to take a lint roller. <laughs> to everything. This is a Bernat Blanket Frosting and this is a Joanne Big Twist Plush. So depending on the yarn you use, you can see the different sizes that I'm getting. I have actually not sold these at my market yet. Like I haven't even taken these to a market yet. So I can't give any personal experience on how well they are going to sell, but I've seen so many people talking about them as good sellers that I decided to just go ahead and dive in and make a bunch. I also have, I feel like they're multiplying at night. <laughs> also the market that I have coming up this weekend is at a county fairground. So I thought that having a ton of these chickens would be a nice thing. That's everything that I crocheted this month in September. Make sure you're subscribed if you want to see more. I do this every single month. I also post market vlogs and pattern tutorials, and I've got a bunch coming out soon. Thank you for being here, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!